In this video, we're going to look at multiplying and dividing with integers, or negative numbers. To set this up, we first want to review what exactly multiplication means. When we see 3 times 5, what this really means is we are going to add together 3 sets of 5. In other words, we've got 5 plus 5 plus 5, 3 5's added together. And when we add those 3 positive 5's together, we get a positive answer, 15. We can follow the same exact pattern when looking at the integers and negative numbers. Here again, we're multiplying, but this time it's 3 negative 5's that we're adding together. Negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. And we know that when we are adding together negatives, we get more negatives. 5 negatives, 5 more negatives, and 5 more negatives is a total of 15 negatives. We get negative 15. This next problem, we're going to take a look at in a slightly different method. First, we're going to look at the 3 times 5 and then we'll take the opposite of the result. And the reason we have to do that is it's really difficult to think about multiplying together negative 3 sets of 5. How do you have negative 3 of anything? So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to think about the 3 times 5 in parentheses with a negative in front of the set of parentheses. When we do this, it means we've got 3 5, so 5 plus 5 plus 5. And inside the parentheses, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, and then we have a negative in front of it, and we get negative 15 for our answer. This last example kind of combines both those together. Again, we're going to think about that front negative as being in front of a set of parentheses, and then we've got three sets of negative 5 that need to be multiplied together negative in front of parentheses, and then 3 negative 5's that are, I think I said multiplied, added together. Negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. Well, we know when we're adding negatives together, we get more negatives, so that's going to be negative 15. But then we've got another negative outside of the parentheses, and so if we have the opposite of negative 15, Negative, negative is going to make it into a positive. The opposite of an opposite is where you started. And so we end up with positive 15. This short, quick example kind of illustrates where we get our rules for multiplication from. If we look at the first example and the last example, both the signs matched in those problems. With multiplication and division, if the signs match, we end up with a positive answers. Contrast this with examples 2 and 3, where we had a, only one negative. We were multiplying a positive and a negative together. If the signs didn't match, the answer turned out to be negative. We will use this pattern to help us decide how to multiply and divide, because division follows the same pattern, with negative numbers. In this first problem, we can quickly see that 4 times 6 is 24. We also see we have a positive and a negative, so the signs do not match. With multiplication, when the signs don't match, we get a negative solution. In the second answer, we're dividing 36 by 9 to get 4. And you'll notice the signs here match, both negative, so our answer is positive, or just 4. Similarly, with the multiplication, negative 2 times negative 6, 2 times 6 is 12. And because the signs match, they're both positive, our answer is positive. On this last example, with division, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and because we have different signs, one positive, one negative, we say our answer is negative. If the signs match, it's positive. If they're different, it's negative with multiplication. 